in this video i will show you how to install python django on ubuntu ubuntu 30 30.04 in all this version we can use this procedure okay let me create a virtual environment virtual env my env here my env is the name of the virtual environment okay it's creating new python executable in bin python okay it's done here you can see the new folder named my env if you go to that folder you can see a couple of other folders okay next step we need to activate the virtual environment for that we need to execute this command source my env go to bin directory and open this activate after that you can see this name here that means virtual environment is activated okay in the next step i am going to install django in this virtual environment so i activated virtual environment inside this virtual environment i am going to run this command is install django to install django django into this swing virtual environment okay it's searching for django downloading django downloading django 1.5.4 dot tab dot gz think one django 1.5.4 is the latest version okay it's installing okay finished install installed installed in, in inside this folder my env lib python 2. Point, lib python 2.7 site packages here you can see django 1.5 dot egg file this is the path where we installed this django so here you can finish the processing dependencies for Django. Okay, clear this screen. Next step, I'm going to show how to create a Django project. For that, we need to run this command Django admin.py. Let me check the options minus minus help. Here you can see the options of that command django admin.py so there are a lot of options are available let me take this one start project so run this command clear the screen django admin.py start project this will create a project then give the name of name for the project my project this will create a project named my project okay ls here you can see new folder named my project if you go to that folder there you can see some default files file and folder manage.py and my project if we go to that folder there you can see init.py settings.py urls.py wsjv.py init.py this by default it will create these files okay okay created a my project okay let me cd to that project directory here you can see one file mine.py so we can let me let me this 
run this project so we can run this project using django django's local web server django providing provide provide a local web server for development we can run that server using this command python manage.py run server it will run it will start the local web server of django so we can access our project our newly created project using this url let's copy this url copy and paste in your browser so this is your first django web application it's work congratulations on your first django powered page of course you hadn't actually done any work yet here here is what to do next if you plan to use database edit database settings in my project settings.py start your first app by running running python manage.py startup then name for the application okay you are seeing this message because you have debug is equal is true in your django setting file and you haven't configured any urls get to work okay let me change this and try what happened okay go to settings.py cd cd2 cd we can directly access that vim my project settings.py here you can see the flag debug is equal to true change it to false and save okay let me start server again and go to the browser and see what happens okay now you can see error message server error 500 so if you disable debug is equal to if you save if you set debug is equal to false you cannot see any debug statements so make it true true when you develop and make it false in the production so i change it to change it back to true so now you can see the debug messages okay so so i will show you how to nest how to create an app okay for that we need to run this command python manage.py start up then name for the app python manage.py start up hmm, first up first up is the name of the app okay for oh, yeah. After that, you can see one new folder here. First tab. If you go to that folder, you can see one some default files: views.py, test.py, models.py, and init.py. Okay. This is how to install Django and configure in Ubuntu. Okay. Bye.